Here's Halifax, about 1890, the years immediately before the explosion. The whole industrial north end, all the busy factories. And right across the harbour is the little community of Turtle Grove. You can just see a couple of the uh, tents and wigwams right on the shore there. Um, it's a map of Halifax Dartmouth, Halifax side, Dartmouth side. This is the Narrows. And Emo was coming out, Mont Blanc was coming in. They collided close to the Dartmouth side and then Mont Blanc drifted over to the Halifax side and then blew up at the uh, foot of Richmond Street. So there's ground zero for the explosion. And then the poor folks uh, in Turtle Grove were just across the harbour over here. So they were only hundreds of feet from ground zero and they just got hammered by the air blast and then the first wave of the tidal wave and then the second wave of the tidal wave, they were really sort of uh, right in front of all the destructive force. And it was obliterated in one moment in 1917. And it was one of the few that was survived right into the 20th century. So people had been living at this community hundreds, maybe thousands of years, but it was sort of being pushed aside by the urban growth of, of Dartmouth as people were building factories and houses closer and closer to it. And uh, the Mi'kmaq there were being encouraged to move elsewhere. Uh, they were busy centralizing the reserves in Nova Scotia at the time. They were in the process of, of shifting the band, and they'd finally found a location in, in the Halifax area to, to move them. But it hadn't happened yet. It was only months away from happening. The bet, sad irony, though, is it was just about to happen. And uh, so all those people were right there, you know, front and center uh, for the explosion when it occurred. It's a little hard to say for certain how many people lived at, at, at Turtle Grove. Um, we know for certain that there are ni nine names who were killed in the explosion, and we know for certain there were 11 more survivors. But the um, Indian Affairs records, uh, 1917, weren't too good for native bands, especially ones that were somewhat informal, such as Turtle Grove. So we're just kind of guessing. Uh, about 1910, there were apparently 16 families there. So it, it gives you an idea that it was a population of several dozen.